second. Oh All my right, guys. gosh. Cierra la puerta, ya. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are on location at MCAT and Graphics Open House. They have so many new things to showcase. Um, they have new walls, new cutters, new layouts, uh, new designs in the apparel section, which we're really excited to show you. Uh, we have some representatives from Mamaki here. We have some representatives from, uh, I believe, Fisher. Uh, I met some uh, gentlemen earlier, so we're really excited. We expect a really good turnout. We uh, did invite some of our friends as well. So uh, stay tuned and take a look at the new layout at we are in the cut work side, but MCAT is uh, over here. Let's go take a look. All right, so uh, there's Justin from MCAT. Do you want to get it? He's, <laughs> he's scary. He don't want to get on camera. So I wanted to show you guys kind of the layout here at Cutworks. As you can see, we have cutters going. We have large format printing. We have different varieties um, scaled to what type of cutter you would like. This is kind of our inspiration for Flash Printing Depot. This is kind of how we want it to look uh, where you can come and demo, see the machine being uh, live. Let's take a look at this, honey. Do you want to get up close on that? So that, uh, as you see on that cutter, it slices perfectly. It cuts perfectly. So these are some of the machines that we will be having in our showroom at Flash Printing Depot. Hey, Mr. Morales. Uh, so you can always come demo. We'll start the machine up for you so you can see what it does on different types of materials, different types of substrates, and you can purchase at Flash Printing Depot. All right, so this is an AMCAD and Graphics open house. So let's go into the AMCAD uh, part of the facility here, which is mostly apparel. Uh, we got some UV here, some uh, sublimation printing. So they actually remodeled, redid it, redesigned, and it looks amazing. So they have these uh, type of vinyl uh, adhesive stickers that they can print on and stick to the wall. They're also textured. Um, he put these, hung all this up. It looks like a department store in here. They did an amazing job. Or we have um, Fisher Textiles that is also in the building and they provide um, fabric such as these up here. This fabric that goes on this hard uh, light, I don't know what those would be called. <laughs> uh, these jerseys here, all of these fabrics. So they provide uh, those fabrics. If you're interested, you can contact them. And then you would sublimate on this machine and then you can uh, press them on these fabrics. Oh, there he is. We have Chris right here. Did you wanna say something to our YouTube channel? Sure. Okay. <laughs> We have Chris here from Fisher Textiles. Nice to meet pleasure, you. Pleasure, pleasure, thanks uh, for it. Did you want to tell us a little bit about what you offer? Or how can they contact you? Sure, so uh, I've been at Fisher for quite some time. They're my first supplier, to be honest. I worked for Freeman for about 15 years and they're the best fabric. So here I am supporting Amcat also and cut works about their fabric. We produce about, uh, we provide 1910 Manny jersey here, the floor mat as well. Uh, rubber back, which oh, is on okay. the floor. So, um, but you know, Fisher is one of the best quality service and uh, basically pricing is also a punchline. So mm -hmm. anything y'all need, any textile, I'm here to help. Perfect. So, thank appreciate you, your time. Yes, thank, thank you, you so for much. Um, taking the time for the channel. We appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate you guys. Yes, thank sir. you very much. All thank right. You. We'll talk to you soon. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay, so we're back at Cutworks on this side of Cutworks, and this is one of the smaller cutters they have. We did miss them demonstrating it, but maybe we'll do it a little later. This is an Eclipse cutter, and this is the template. So this is some of the things that you can do. This is the template. Um, as you can see, it does have the line, so it cuts it out. You pop it out of its um, template, and then you can make this box. So these are just a few things, a few um, of the types of materials that you can cut. This is just kind of like a thick cardboard. 
but this is what you can do. So imagine your brand or whatever you may need to do if you work for, um, if you're cutting for companies and different types of packaging like that. All right, guys, we are here at the open house for AMCAD and we are meeting so many new people, so many kind people. We have Janie here with us. Uh, so she's gonna go ahead and introduce herself and let her know, let y'all know what organization organization to you. <laughs> Perfect. Hi y'all, I'm Janie Morris. I'm with PIA Mid-America. We're the Trade and Printing Association for uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Western Missouri. And so we really just support um, our members that are in, in this uh, industry with advocacy, workforce development, HR support, uh, wage and benefit, oh, which okay. is huge right now. It's a big old report that we do every year. And I just, I love this industry. It's great. You just provide support for uh, the printing industry. Yep, so through education and a whole bunch of things. So Perfect, well, thank you so much. Um, where can they contact you at if they're interested? Uh, you can reach us at piamidam.org. Perfect, we'll see y'all there, thank you. All right, thanks. All right, so we are here with the uh, UJV100 160 Plus, and this is a UV machine. If you can see right now, uh, we're just printing with the clear ink, which provides that texture. Come on in, honey and take a look at this beautiful design and how, can you see on camera? Yeah. And that is the clear ink that does that. Oh man, look at this school, looks so good. And if you're interested in this machine, you can contact AMCAD and Graphics. All the information is in the description below. All right, so we are here um, in the DTF section at AMCAD and Graphics. <laughs> with, uh, uh, you know, we have our trusty XYDTF cutter here, and this is the inline process that we've showed on our channel before. Shaker, and of course, the Mamaki TXF 150-75. Uh, I think they're running some sample things for the event right now. But as you can see, you can set it and forget it. Set it, walk away, no one's watching it, no one's babysitting it, and it's doing its thing. So if you're interested, you can email us at flashprintingdepot at gmail.com if you're interested in this inline process. All right, so we are here with Edgar. <laughs> so this is one of the lasers here uh, at AMCAD Cutworks. They are doing some testing right now to kind of perfect the light thing that they have going. So this is one of the lasers, a smaller version of this laser we should have in our flash printing depot as well. So we will learn all of this, do our own testing and do videos to showcase those as well. And you can pick those up at flashprintingdepot.com. Okay, all right. Oh, Rom's gonna do it. Okay, go, go so we it. have about four koozies on here that we're gonna press at one time just for samples for the event today. I have my assistant Rom here helping me with his big strong muscles. And we're gonna get this. This is about 15 seconds. Then we're gonna pop it. Uh, Nick said just kind of wave them to cool them down and then we can pill them. I don't know if this is a hot pill or cold pill, but I don't trust hot pill. So we're gonna cold pill them. Oh, we're missing one. Oh, there Whoa. it is. Oh, it must be hot pill. Oh no, I thought it came off. So just kind of give them a wave. Give me a wave, give me a wave, give me a wave now. I think that's the song. I, I dare y'all to pill them hot. <laughs> Double dog dare you. Okay, let me see. This don't have good pressure. It didn't, it didn't press well, did it? Hold on, let me I was wondering, does it need more? It's hot. It's hot. Take another one, take another one and press it. Maybe it just needs to cool down. This is how we cool. Usually at Flash Printing Depot, we would have a little fan that cools down. Oh, Rami got a fan over there, okay. His is probably ready. Handheld fan. More pressure. Lips. Oh, is it ready? Oh, like butter. butter. There's a little pressure over here needed. Whatever film you guys are using, peels really well. Yeah. We pressed we... a bunch of shirts mm -hmm. yesterday, right babe? Yes. And these, and these. And it feels really well. Yeah, the transfers were, you can tell they were high quality. It needs more pressure. I think so too. Yeah. That so one's ready for a second we press. Cut something, put it in there so it's not just double squishing. All four koozies on there. Here is mine. That is beautiful. Yeah. That one looks good. Now just give me some water. Water? Drink up. You know you're always drinking. Oh, it's a chiquito. Mira la chiquito soda. Si habla español. I speak Spanish. 
<laughs> so they are all set, ready to go. We hit our second press. We have our America Puppy, Aww. our America Butterfly, and our America Scary awesome. um, Skeleton. Beautiful. All right, so we are here with Carissa. You guys know the hey, star everybody. of the show here at Mamaki, and we're doing some dye sublimation. Is this the UV ink? Is this why it's so no, vibrant? this is sublimation ink, but okay. the reason why it's so vibrant is the TS-330 that we have in Texas actually has the fluorescent inks on it. Oh, and, oh that's what I meant, fluorescent, sorry. Yes, yeah. it's okay. So we'll pull it forward a little bit and I'd really like to show you guys some of the prints with the fluorescent. Oh, wow. Look how vibrant it is. I haven't seen anything like that before. So our... Our, actually, our TS machines and our fluorescent colors come with something that's called the Artista Color Collection Library. What this is, is it's actually a spot color library that people can use in their illustrator and design files to set if they want fluorescent orange or fluorescent blue or some of the fluorescent greens that you see here in these files. You're gonna see that it, most of them come from the Artista Color Collection. So if you guys want some samples of fluorescent, let us know. Wow. Here is another one of the fluorescent libraries. And so all of this also will glow underneath a black light, which is cool. Even the fluorescent purples that you see in the Artista color collection will actually glow in black light. This would be a time, oh, would it be cool if we had a black light right I now? I know, it, it kind of already say, looks like it's, it's glowing. All right. Oh, Rom's great, he's gonna get Rom one. Rom is that man. I love it. All right, so we have some other prints here. I do love this one. It looks like it's already in a black light. How vibrant yeah. it is. It's, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. Those colors. And the detail that you're, we're getting. Um, and thank you, Fisher Textiles, for being a sponsor and sponsoring the material for this. Oh, look at that. That blue. Here's mm -hmm. another section of different pinks and oranges and purples that you can get. Look at that. Oh, here comes my favorite file. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna push this down so we can have a big reveal. So we can have the big reveal on this. <laughs> We're almost done, I'm but done look at this. Okay, you guys ready? Look at that. Wow, those colors are beautiful. Look at the fluorescent yellow and the fluorescent greens that are in this file. So the TS-330 is the one that has the fluorescent inks on it, and we will have it at Print United, of course. So make sure you're stopping by Print United at the Milwaukee booth, and of course, Shelly and Carl are gonna be there with us. So if you guys wanna to come to Vegas and have some fun, or if you want a sample, let us know. Thank you. Oh All my right, gosh. guys. Cierra la puerta, yeah. I wanted y'all to see because Rom was amazing at Cutworks and actually had a black light for us to use. Look where the elements really shine with that black light. Let's look at some of the other ones. Oh, I really love the yellows and the oranges do great. Oh, let's look. Let's look at this vibes, my favorite. How amazing that is. Wow. Wow. I really love it. <laughs> well, the fact that it's the fluorescent inks are glowing more than the white yeah. is pretty cool. Maybe we'll check different materials from Fisher and see if they have some that have a really um, a different white point that will glow a little bit better and it'll have everything glow. Oh, yes. Oh, more? Here is a, Ooh, this one is actually a shirt. Wow. So you don't have to have everything in fluorescent for it to really pop. Look at that. We're just that yellow and the pink and then the areas of the white. Oh, I love it. Well, thank you guys for, um, for doing this with me today. So cool. I love it. I love it. All right, so this is a wrap up of the AMCAD and Graphics slash Cutworks open house. We met some great people. Johnny Andrea from Ventura joined us. We were able to show them some great products and um, hope to do some future projects with them. Uh, we got to see the fluorescent uh, ink. It was so beautiful. The black light was 
it was a good time. So thank you, MCAD and Cutworks for inviting us and please subscribe to the channel for more content. Uh, our flash printing depot is on the way. So please stay tuned for more content and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.